Welcome back to Book View Now here at the Miami Book Fair. I'm Jeffrey Brown with the PBS NewsHour, and I am joined now to talk about her new novel, Jade Chang. The novel is The Wangs Versus the World. Welcome to you. Thank you. Thanks for having what, me. T t t the genesis of this novel, of a family novel, a mm -hmm. road trip, how did mm -hmm. it start? Oh, man. Well, I, you know, I really wanted to write a book. Okay, so here's the thing. I feel like there's kind of a false divide in fiction. Yeah. I feel like You're there's... You're just going right there. I'm, huh? I'm going right in. Okay. I'm going okay. right in. Okay. I feel like there's this, um, either a book is really serious yeah. and therefore like intellectually weighty yeah. and, um, and literary, or it's frivolous and fun. And I, I've always felt like, why can't a book be both things? Why uh -huh. can't a book have a good time, be kind of larger than life, yeah. maybe a little bit frivolous and glitzy, and yet still kind of get in there and deal with serious things yeah. and, and larger ideas, yeah. I mean, so and that's a sort of starting ideal. That was, that was one of my driving forces yeah. for kind of getting, like what, for I'm, getting in I'm there. I'm gonna write something that's fun, but that yeah. has some, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and, there's, there's, there's yeah. some very loud... I don't loud think they're after us, but there's some drumming. <laughs> they might be, yeah. 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 Um, but, I th you know, it also... I first started thinking about this book mm -hmm. in the late summer of 2008, which is when the book takes right. place. Right. And at a very particular moment in America. Yes, in America, right? yes, yes, yeah. exactly. Um, so it's, uh, it's the story of a family, mm -hmm. um, the Wang family. Charles Wang is an immigrant from Taiwan who came to America, mm -hmm. made a cosmetics fortune, and then at the beginning of the financial collapse, he loses it all. Yeah, and then the, so the very first line is, Charles Wang was mad at America. Yes. Actually, Charles Wang was mad at history. Yes. So this is, I mean, I, I get what you're saying because it's kind mm -hmm. of a funny line, but it also is weighty. Yeah. So uh, the idea of having everything and losing everything, right. that's a, a kind of literary tradition. True, in yes. In a way, right? Yeah, but yeah. it also allows you to look at a lot of the history of what a person had, I suppose. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, and I think also, you know, that time in America was so interesting because we were coming off of this era of prosperity, you mm -hmm. know? And so we had this, and the, and the national myth of America is the myth of success, right. you know? It's a myth of rags to riches. So I thought it'd be really interesting to kind of look at a family story from a riches to rags viewpoint mm -hmm. and a kind of relationship to America from a riches to rags kind of I mean, it also too. allows you to have fun, which you do, of, of like mm -hmm. looking at rich America, like rich Bel Air, right. yeah. and, and yeah. tweak the, the, the mores of that. Uh, right, exactly, yeah. exactly, which was very sort of uh, satisfying to do. You, you told me, you're, are you from Los Angeles? I am, yeah. So I you, are you there. drawing on uh, your some, own knowledge? Some personal experience. Yeah, when I first started writing this book, I was actually working at a luxury magazine. So it was, um, I really had kind of a front row seat to the whole spectacle of very wealthy people really freaking out. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. In all the details of what Oh yeah, it yeah. was fascinating. Yeah. I mean, you also skewer mm -hmm. the art world here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but in a in a very affectionate way. Yeah. Yes. But I mean, these are things you were you uh -huh. were part you knew a yeah. lot about. Yeah. As a journalist, I was reporting on these things, yeah. and yeah. then I also um, just personally, I have a lot of friends who are artists. Um, uh, there's actually there's a scene in there that is. Um, at Art Basel Miami, yeah. which we're in Miami now. Which is happening in a week or two. Yeah, 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 exactly. And that yeah. was one of the, I first attended that as a journalist and I just remember the insanity of the vernissage, which is the first night of yeah. Art Basel, right. when everyone just rushes in the doors and moments later you start seeing those red stickers mm -hmm. appear everywhere, yeah. you know, showing that like, Artworks are just getting snapped up yeah. in seconds. You know, I'm, I'm also I, when you say you talk about the different, um, the, the the weighty novel and the you know, mm -hmm. and the and the funnier one. There is a great tradition of of the immigrant novel, right? Yeah. Of the American immigrant. Yeah. So definitely. you're clearly aware of that. Yes. And the weight of that. How could but I not be? How could you not yes. be? But so, mm -hmm. what 
influence does it have or how, how did you want to play with it or against it or what were you yeah, thinking? Yeah, I mean that definitely in terms of driving forces for this book, that was definitely another thing. I mean, I really wanted to write an immigrant novel that was kind of a rebellion against the traditional immigrant novel. Which mean, what does that mean? In that this isn't about um, immigrants who see themselves as outsiders. It's mm -hmm. not about immigrants who are just struggling to fit in. I mean, these are immigrants, these are people of color in America who feel very much central to the story of this country. Yeah. Yeah. Did you have, did you have any uh, models in mind? Of, I mean, literary models? <sighs> Not really. Uh -huh. I mean, it, it is, and I don't think it's because there aren't yeah. immigrants who want to tell these stories. I think it's because we just haven't seen them yeah. published. I mean, the, uh, the mm -hmm. Asian American experience is interesting in itself because sure. it's less portrayed mm -hmm. uh, until sort of recently. I was mm -hmm. just before we started, I was telling you I was yeah. with Eddie Wong, right? Yeah, yeah. So he's ta we were talking about Fresh Off the Boat, mm -hmm. and, 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 and there was a sense of telling a story that he felt hadn't been told yeah, in a way. Yeah, yeah. So you feel that. Yeah, absolutely. And I feel that about his book too. And, and I also really think that the success of Fresh Off the Boat was very helpful for, you know, for the publication of my book. In, in what ways mm -hmm. has that experience been different from other immigration, immigrant stories? The Asian? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, th I think it's really hard to characterize any immigrant story yeah. as a kind of block story. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, think that, I think that what I, really the point of, for me, the point of writing at all is to show that there are so many different kinds of stories. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this, was, this is a first novel. It is. Was it easy, mm -hmm. hard? What was, what was the experience? Has any writer ever told you <laughs> that it was easy? Um, I don't know. Nathan Hill was just telling me about how uh -huh. he, once he got into it, it was like, Planting a garden, it was almost fun every day. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think he's lying. <laughs> um, no, I mean, it, was, it took me five years to write yeah, this book. Yeah. It, was, it was hard, it was hard. Yeah, I mean, it was, <clears throat> at times it was a real joy and a thrill to write, and then at other times it was like swimming through a syrupy swamp, you yeah. know, yeah. So what did you learn from, for the next time? I mean, it, the first thing that comes to mind is a very like... Uh, you look like you're gonna say, never write again. No, <laughs> no, no. The, the, for some reason, the only thing that comes to mind is a very like motto on a pillow kind of thing, which is the only way out is through. You just gotta keep oh. on working at it until uh, Something you comes. You have the, yes, yeah. yes. Just tell me in our last minute, because uh -huh. we're at a book festival here, yes. and I've been asking people, what do you like to read for pleasure? Oh my God, um, so many things. I, I mean, I do read a lot of contemporary fiction. I've been, um, I've been reading, you know, just because I've been promoting this book and going to, you know, being on different panels and things, mm -hmm. I've been reading a lot of stuff by my, some co-panelists. Yeah. Um, I've been enjoying Behold the Dreamers by Mbolo Mbue. Mm -hmm. uh, I've loved um, The Art of Waiting by Bell Boggs, which mm -hmm. is not fiction. Yeah. It's, uh, it's nonfiction, but it's, it's really beautiful. It brings in a lot of sort of science and personal experience, which mm -hmm. I love. Mm -hmm. um, I'm really excited actually to read The Nicks. So next on my list. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Personal recommendations from Jade Chang and her new novel is The Wangs Versus the World. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me.